La migration, c'est-à-dire le... Migration, meaning the movement of individuals in space, in principle, makes it possible to avoid deteriorated local environmental conditions and colonize areas where conditions are favorable. With the perpetually changing environment, migration seems to be a key adaptation where you can follow in space zones that are more favorable to one species. It is not surprising that changes in the spread of species in space with uh, higher latitudes and altitudes witnessed in the northern hemispheres are one of the responses of biodiversity to climate change and one of the most documented ones. In this respect, the pine processionary moth was chosen as a sample by the IPCC to assess climate change. Unlike most insects, this species uh, develops as a larval development in the winter, making it very sensitive to small variations in temperature. And the species has considerably expanded its area since the early 1970s. 100 kilometers towards the north between 1972 and 2011. The speed of expansion is 2.6 kilometers per year, which accelerated to 5.5 since the start of the century. This expansion in space was encouraged by the increase of winter temperatures that can be correlated with climate change and was also accelerated by the plantation of ornamental pines by humans in non-forest areas. Interestingly, this geographical expansion came with a genetic evolution of this uh, caterpillar population. The uh, population is more irritating, urticating, and the adult moth is better at flying. So although for many species, such as the pine processionary, the direction is predictable, as expected, the speed of displacement of species in relation to change in the climate is extremely variable. And this is what is illustrated in this diagram that shows that some species here below the curve move less fast than the climate changes, and those who are above move faster than the climate changes. More generally, one can wonder whether all species have sufficient migratory capacities to follow the displacement of the optimal uh, climate conditions in space. The fragmentation of landscapes and destruction of habitats may further compromise the species' natural ability to move with increasingly fragmented landscapes. Migration helps the species to remain cohesive as they exchange between fragments. Genetic exchanges are particularly crucial to maintain genetic diversity within the populations that is required to adapt to new stresses. Migratory capacities are also variable between individuals of the same population, depends on their physiology, morphology, or behavior. Migratory capacities can evolve very quickly. This is what is illustrated by research conducted on this small plant of the family of the Asteraceae, which produces two types of seeds one with a parachute, which is windborne, and another one, another bigger seed that has no dispersion structure, which usually falls just at the foot of the plant. In the Montpellier area, the species is present both in large continuous populations in rural areas and has colonized very small fragments of vegetation in urban areas. The species has quickly adapted to the fragmentation of urban landscapes. As the seeds cannot germinate on the sidewalks, the plants produce a larger proportion of the bigger seeds and uh, much less windborne seeds, and they should be favored in this environment. And that is what was noted. It was observed, as shown in this graph, that there's a reduction in seed dissemination for populations in urban areas as compared to rural populations. The graph shows 
that urban populations produce a greater proportion of large seeds that remain on the same pieces of land. This reduction in the investment in windborne seeds aggravates the fragmentation because there are less and less exchanges and it restricts the species ability to move in order to adapt to climate change. So in conclusion, one can see that migration is both a source of flexibility and adaptation, crucially to address the challenges of climate change, but it is also impacted in contradictory ways by the very climate change. Fragmentation and destruction of habitats for certain species, transport over unequaled distances uh, through the intensification of global trade and exchanges.